Game five of the World Series, Cole is on the bump and he looks like this. That's a starting pitcher that's going to dominate you. Just blank. This breakdown is brought to you by Body Armor Sports Drink and it includes the worst inning in World Series history. Garrett Cole took the bump at the start of the game. He looked like that. He was awesome. In the first inning, he just breezed through the top of the lineup. We got this out right here, just a pop-up to judge. Easy catch. Boom. Then the next batter steps up. It's Mookie Betts, and he gets him to softly roll over a ground ball to first. Very easy play. Steps on the bag. Nice and simple. And then the next batter, Muncie, 0-2. Another fly ball. Judge catches it. Three easy outs. He would get six more easy outs. And then three more after that. Four innings of no-hit baseball from Garrett Cole. And the Yankees were up 5 nothing. And then the fifth inning started. And Kike Hernandez is up first. And, okay, little cutter, lower slider. And then a fastball in the middle. Kike's got great numbers against Cole. He gets himself a single. Cole's thinking, whatever, dude, I can pitch around that. I'll get outs. Tommy Edmond comes up. The lefty, Cole opens him up with like a changeup. Could have been a sinker. I think that's a changeup. And then breaks one the other way, a slider. Oh, two. This is what he was doing to him. Okay, fouled off. That one away. Let's do it again. What with a fastball, a pop-up. Oh, uh, 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 uh. what the hell's that? What the hell was that? Judge just straight up misses an easy catch. Cole's wife watching the crowd. Oh, my God. What? And Kike is able to get to second, so they don't even get the force, and that was the start of it. This is what, this is what happens here. Kike takes, you know, a big old lead. He's, he's off second base. He's in the middle. Judge is thinking, I can, if I catch this ball and rifle it, can I get him out for the double play? Is that possible? So at the very last second, he checks on the runner, takes his eye off the ball, and bam. Doesn't watch it all the way news glove. A catch he's made probably 10,000 times, maybe 1,000. So he's frustrated, and there's two on, and there's no outs. And Cole's thinking, okay, well, shit. Next up is Will Smith. And now would be a good time to pause and show you that the Dodgers scouting report on the Yankees was to just make them play baseball. Joel Sherman reported what the Dodgers told their players in scouting meetings was the Yankees were talent over fundamentals. That if you run the bases with purpose and aggression, the Yankees will self-inflict harm. The value was very high to put the ball in play and make the Yankees execute. That was the scouting report the Dodgers had. First pitch, slider, curve. Next pitch, little cutter on the outside. Up top, wants nothing to do with it. And then swing and miss through the four-seam fastball, dead center. Look at that grip right there. That's the four-seam grip. Look at this tight spin. Just right down the middle. Doors. Got him. Okay? 2-2. Two, two. They go down the middle with the cutter. They get the ground out. Volpe goes to get the lead runner. Still no outs. Base is loaded. Just put the ball in play and let the Yankees self-inflict harm. Some more sunflower seeds for Boone. Um, yeah. Trying to get the lead runner. His momentum was taken that way by the ball. Jazz, it's his first year ever playing third base. Could he have done anything different? No, it's Volpe just can't really skip that throw. My goodness. A play Volpe has made, I counted it, it was like 12 times in his two years in the big leagues. Uh, and this one just doesn't get made. Oh, man. So base is loaded, no outs. And now the fans are getting worried, and she's worried, but also kind of a little giddy because he's so stressed. Cole blows his hand, says, strikeouts it must be. Looks like I'm going to have to do strikeouts. Gavin Lux is up. There's no outs. The bases are loaded. First pitch, fastball inside. Wanted it, didn't get it. Goes a little change up, gets that one. Back to the fastball, 99 miles per hour. One and two count. Back to a fat four seam fastball on the outside. Easy breezy. One strikeout. Gavin Lux is out. Okay, now comes up Otani. Top of the order. We need strikeouts. 
You know, a sack fly wouldn't be bad, but strikeouts are needed. 95, that's a cut fastball. Little bit of movement, that's a change up. Otani didn't bite, but he went up low, up again. Big swing uh, by Otani on the four seam, and then the curve off of that. Another strikeout. Otani's out. Look at that. Looks like Clay Holmes' little brother. Well, you know, otter looking brother. Here's the four seam grip and the four seam pitch. And it just has nice ride. It never comes down. He's underneath it because usually fastballs come down a little bit, but Cole has nice ride to it. There's the curveball grip. Got that middle finger around the back, pulling down on the horseshoe. And that's got end over end spin. That's the curveball. So. There's the two spins side by side. I always think that's a cool look. And then here's why it's hard as a batter to figure out which pitch is which because they're the same and then one falls and one doesn't. Only need one more out. You keep it 5 nothing. Cole's getting the job done. Here we go. Mookie's up. We got first pitch. Cutter on the outside. Everything was outside and kind of like breaking away from Mookie. The next pitch... Another cutter on the outside, a ground ball to Rizzo. This should do. What the hell are we doing? The Dodgers scouting report was to put the ball in play and let the Yankees self-inflict harm. Unbelievable. Cole doesn't cover first. Rizzo has no urgency. You know, okay, so what, what happened here, and I'm not excusing this in any way, but what happened is, the first bounce looks like it's going to be a little harder and straight. This this second bounce, watch the second bounce. It kicks, it kicks in, so Rizzo overruns it. You can see this first bounce, and this one right here kicks in a little. So Rizzo was running faster to the right. I think Cole saw him running fast, thought the ball was going to be on the on Rizzo's left side, which then Rizzo would grab it on his way to the base. Rizzo stops and now has to let the ball come all the way to him. And Cole already broke it down, so no one's there. And that is <clears throat> incredible. I went and I scoured for other plays, balls just like this. I mean, we had one in the first inning, Mookie as well. Uh, and that one was a little more slower, and Rizzo just came in and got it. And on this one, you can see Cole breaks on the left, and Cole points and says, you take it, you take it. Cole never points here. Riz has to stop. Mookie's the same speed, basically. You know, his closing steps faster because he knows he's got a shot. I found a bunch here. Rizzo's closer to the bag in the first one. This is the overlay, but basically the same spot. He's able to run forward and get it, not let it come to him. This is an identical play. Vasquez, two years ago, put a ball in an identical spot. Cole on the mound. Rizzo at first. I, was just, I needed to just find all the comparisons I could. And on this one, you can see Cole's rushing, Cole's rushing, and Rizzo on the top just slows down, secures it, and flips it. So he, so Rizzo's thinking this is what's going to happen again. Like, I'm just going to secure this, make sure I get it, flip it to Cole. Looks up, Cole's not coming. He's not in an ability to get speedy at that point. Just terrible. This is what Rizzo thinks is happening. He's going to get the ball, Cole's going to cover, and they go. This is what Cole thinks is happening. He thinks that Rizzo's going to charge the ball, grab it, take it himself, so there's no need. Just all around awful. And now you got a runner on third, you got a runner on second, you got a runner on first, bases loaded, two outs, and the bad man Freddie Freeman is up. Yankees fans are nervous. Come on, come on, because Freddie's already hit a grand slam. They go outside with the four seam. Freddie Freeman has hit a home run every game. This series, all four of the first games, he hit a home run. And if you put the ball inside, he's going to hit it. So they're trying to stay away, away with the fastball, away with the changeup. Freddie took that one and one count. Next pitch, high, a strike away from getting out of it, and the fans need it. They go away with the changeup again. He fouls it back, still a strike away. Come on, finish it. Come on, finish it. Please, please. Please, Freddie's like, I dare you to come inside now. You think you think I'm going to lean away because you pitched me away the whole at-bat. I dare you to come inside now. Cole's like, oh, I don't want to throw this inside. But we've pitched away the whole at-bat. Maybe he's leaning away. Let's, let's bust one in. Let's do it. Dumb. Dumb. Don't pitch Freddie Freeman inside. No matter what you think you've got him set up for, he scores two more runs. He's on first. Let's go, Cole. Can't believe it. Now Teoscar's up. 
It's a two-run game. There's two runners on. Cutter away, he swings. Another fastball away, he swings. They go for the cutter low, he takes. But if you look, it looked like he was, it looks like he wanted to offer at that. Wellesley likes it. He's like, yep, right there, right there. They go to throw the same pitch again. One, two. Cole misses. It's not a cutter away. It's a cutter in the middle. And Teoscar hits it to the wall and he clears the bases because Freddie's running hard, even though he's got like a broken rib, a broken ankle, and a broken finger. The ball comes in. Cole thinks he's going to get his head thrown off, taken off. Oh, yeah! Ah! They're screaming into each other's mouths. They're all excited. Ah! At a boy! Yeah! Ooh, vamos! Boom! Bam! Tie game. Gross. Fans can't believe it. Five unearned runs to tie the game. This man is permanently frowned now. It's not even over. Max Muncy comes up. Cole's trying to catch his breath. Muncy's been chasing the slider in a lot this series. They go for that. He doesn't chase. They go fastball up. He doesn't chase. They go curveball below the zone. He doesn't chase. 3-1 fastball high. Swings at it. 3-1. Will he swing at a higher one? No. Muncy walks. Two on. The inning continues. Cole's gassed. Boone's eating a bag full of seeds. Oh, my goodness. And up comes Kike again. They call a little player meeting on the mound. Boone washes the seeds down, takes a breath, throws more seeds in. Is more bad stuff going to happen? Inside fastball fouled back. 0-1. Inside four seam fastball fouled back. Oh, two pitch, high fastball, ground out. Volpe secures it, steps on the bag. What the hell just happened? Cole looks at the scoreboard. He's like, What? Five unearned runs? Dodgers go on to win later. Yankees make more mistakes later. Dodgers win the World Series. Yanks self inflicted. Dodger scouting report was pretty true. As I said earlier, this breakdown was brought to you by. Body Armor, they have real hydration, real ingredients, packed with electrolytes, vitamins, and nothing artificial. Body Armor sports drinks have great tasting flavors. My favorite, strawberry banana. There's others, you can try them, but if you just want my favorite, it's strawberry banana. I do enjoy it a ton. Get yours today at Walmart or a local grocery store near you. That's the end of the baseball season. I have more breakdowns coming because I did some that then got pushed because of this one. And maybe I might go back into the archives of the season to find some more, but it's the off season, so I'm gonna be hunting for funny stuff and weird stuff in other sports. So throw suggestions my way. I would appreciate that. Thank you for tuning in and making it a great season. Thanks for tuning into any and all of our content that you watch. Appreciate it very much. We're not stopping. It might get lighter in the off season, but we're not stopping. Thanks guys.